fans, Panda Brady here once again, and um, I found the code. Um, took some digging. Wasn't in the game files. It just saves to your computer randomly. <sighs> so, I'm going to read what it says. Dear. There's no actual words or letters, it's just a bunch of little symbols put together. Uh, there's another line of it, a line of it, message to you, and I'm afraid I must make it brief. I have left you a journal, part of which is written in a language that... Ho... Er... Eed... It, and you will know what to do. I have also herbider herbider herb. Wait a sec. If I open up Word and paste this into here, come on. Anyways, look for a metal safe in the quarry to the east somewhere between the ocean and the lookout point. The code you need is three seven eight nine zero six. Now apparently, this will change depending on what uh on who is playing so what i'm going to try now oh there we go finally came up okay so it's not okay never mind Okay, well, 378906, we now know that, so... Hello, robot. I am functional. Mm-hmm. Let us travel... to the ocean. This really is kind of cool that they would do that. Oh, whoops. No, so you, Nico, put put away the crowbar. Three seven eight nine zero six. There we go. Whoa, it worked. Wait, how did you know the code, Brady? I still don't remember seeing one. I have my ways. I see. What's in the safe, Nico? Oh, right. Let's see. Uh, I found a gas mask. Also, there's this weird-looking book. I can't read it, though. Not that I can't read or anything, because I can. I just don't know what language this is. What the fudge? What is that? I'll wear it when I have to. Oh! Do, do, do I need to do that now? I'm not seeing anything. Maybe I give it to somebody. But first, let us continue into this area that we were not allowed to because of the weird gas. <clears throat> I should be fine with this mask on. Oh, Nico, I sure hope you're right, because I don't want anything happening to you. You're an adorable little kitty cat biscuit. You're a little muffin, Nico. Don't let anything bad happen to you, please. 
What happened? For some reason, it clicked off of my uh, game without me touching the... Oh, hello, robot. Hello, person. Welcome to the old chemical processing plant. Most of the equipment has already been relocated. Oh, that's good to know. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to get in your way there. It's a pair of rubber gloves. They're a bit heavy. Awesome. And I may need the crowbar to get through that wood, so... This seems to be a ripped page out of a book. Cannot overstate the importance of cleaning solvents in this environment. Here's a simple recipe using the alternative method discussed in the last chapter, utilizing the natural properties of blue phosphor. Acidic gas. In a well-ventilated area, direct the gas into your container of choice. Seal immediately. That's the end of the page. Oop, don't smash the bottle. The door is all boarded up. The boards seem loose, though. I should be able to pull them off with the right tool. Okay. I can't reach the top, Brady. Aw. No, don't smash the bottle. Good thing I kept this crowbar. I'm a regular Gordon Freeman. You probably don't even know who that is. What a workout. I'm getting a weird Star Wars vibe off the all these uh, just standing there robots. Dun, 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 dun. A cleaning sponge with a rough surface. This seems to be a page ripped out of a book. Without breaking the seal, inject the liquid phosphor into the container. Shake vigorously to initiate the reaction. Use as soon as possible. If elements begin to separate, further shaking is required. Also note, hand protection is critical after this step. The resulting acid is moderately stronger than common household cleaners. I don't know what half of these words mean. It's a good thing you're here, Brady. Yep, sure is. A bunch of robots without power. I guess the generator can only do so much. This robot looks kind of rusty. This robot looks kind of rusty. Okay. Greetings of the robot. Hello, person. The robot assembly and repair services have been discontinued at the Baron's. If you have further inquiry, please contact the head engineer. Okay. Well. Anything behind here? Big engine. Uh-huh. Oh, a random note. There's something weird about the robots who get sent to work near the gas fields. They appear to accumulate rust at a much slower rate than the others. The few who work directly with gas harvesting look practically new. Is that a result of the atmosphere, or am I just seeing things? Ah. So I'm going to have to use that on the rusted over row behind. Hi. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Hmm? A living person such as yourself should have evacuated this place long ago. Oh, but I just got here. To this world, I mean. See? I have the sun. Oh, the messiah. I do not know what to say. Greeting you was not part of my programming. Have you spoken to ProfitBot? I think so, yeah. ProfitBot was built with the sole purpose of greeting you. Really? Yes, he cannot speak with anyone else. At least, not with ease. Oh, that's kind of sad. What are you built for, then? My purpose is to guard this settlement. Even though the residents have long gone, I must remain. 
Ah. Uh, why, though? I have not been tamed. Tamed? It was not worth the effort. There's that word again, tamed. What does it mean? Is it like a double rainbow? Looks like they're evacuating the few tamed robots we have here. Makes sense. No point in keeping them in the barrens if all the people are already gone. I wonder if the engineer is going too. Apparently, phase one of the bleh, evacuation ended prematurely. The big ship started malfunctioning only after a few round trips. They said it was due to something with squares. I'm not sure what they meant by that. Bummer. Looks like they won't be able to transport most of these surplus bots to the city at this rate. We worked so hard on those. But I suppose the robots are busy enough with transporting people as is. I think it's going to be our turn soon. What's this say? It's a power cell, I think. There's writing on this one, too. It says, Guardian of Residential Area. Oh! Well, it's looking a little dim. That means the shrimp are dying. I think. Snake Eater! I'm scared of ladders. Let's see here, nothing. And nothing. Okay. A anytime I see a oh unit RM two eight eight three four one seven reporting for duty. I saw that you spoke with the guardian of the settlement. I will now escort you until you reach your dormitory. Um, what? Oh, that was nice of you. I think I'm gonna take a nap if there's a bed in here. Checking, checking. Terminal does not respawn. This is a problem. Some of the ink on this page is faded. Likely due to some sort of electrical or magnetic interference. I'm afraid this operation can no longer be sustained. If the servers continue to fail so much that maintenance cannot keep up the pace. Fortunately, it does not seem to be happening to the robots, at least not at a significant rate. Time will tell. Hello, other robot. All of these terminals do not boot. I am not sure what to do now, friend Aaron. <laughs> yes, I am human. Yes, my name is human. Oh, there's more. I remember being taught in school about how the waters surrounding the forest stretched until the boundaries of space, but at some point, the prehistoric oceans receded, forming what is now the Barrens. I wonder where all that water went. Anything? Nope. And anything? Nope. More shrimp. And out the door we go. I think it's kind of weird that the door is bigger than the... Or the door on the outside is bigger than it is on the inside. What is this? Infirmary. Oh! Neato Bambino. Hello, organic person who is alive. The infirmary is up ahead. Hello, person of organic makeup. Welcome to the infirmary. Scanning for injuries. Um, scan complete. Injuries detected, none. Treatment required, none. You are good to go. Er, thanks? Hello, person. Are you seeking admission into the infirmary? No? Oh, carry on then. It's a box of medical tools. Most of them are broken or rusted beyond repair. This plastic syringe seems to be okay. You know what they say, curiosity killed the... Oh no! Looks like we're supposed to pack stuff for the evacuation starting today. I wish these books weren't so heavy. It's gonna be a pain to carry them onto the ship. And they're by the author. I can't just throw them away. The author? Author Reed? Oh my goodness! They have books by Author Reed here! If you don't get the joke, it's supposed to be Arthur. Let's see. 
Hey, sweetie, six more weeks until you can come home. About time, huh? Gosh, I can't imagine living in that awful capsule wall dorm thing. But guess what? Soon you'll get to sleep in a real bed and eat real food again. Right back soon. Love, Mom. Aww. Oh, Nico, you're probably missing your parents, too. I mean, it's been a week for me. I can't imagine how long it's been for you. Reporting for duty, it seems you have already been... Uh, that you already have an assigned escort unit. Would you like me to leave? You can follow me if you want. Understood. I will now escort you until you reach your dormitory. Huh. This is a big area. Some sort of mechanical drawing. Evacuation? At such short notice? I can't believe this. First the sun dies, now I'm out of a job. A robot, it's beyond repair. Oh. Odd that this robot would be. I keep checking these because I feel like eventually I'm going to find that one of them has an item I have to climb up and get. Have I been in this one yet? Let's see. Yep. That was one of the first ones I went to. Okay, infirmary in there. Let's go off to the left. Oh, we put our gas mask back on. If this game has permadeath like I think it does, I don't want to fail at all. It would make me feel so horrible. Oh, what's this? This pond sure looks different. The water looks like jelly? It's formed a bubble over the surface of the pond. Ah, uh ah. -huh. You want me to fill the bottle with this stuff, Brady? It's too goopy to fit in the bottle opening. It's like so that one time years ago when I tried to put tomato chowder in a baby bottle, and then it got everywhere. On the table, on my clothes, on the baby, on the baby's clothes. The grown-ups thought it was hilarious. They took a bunch of pictures. And then they taught me how to use funnels. And then they also told me I shouldn't try to babysit until I'm older. Anyways, we should probably look for a funnel or something. How about a sponge? It's formed a bubble. Okay. So, the sponge is a no-go. Wait, do I have any item that could be used as a funnel? Empty syringe! So, we're filling up the syringe, Brady. I guess it's kind of like a funnel, but the liquid might be a bit too thick to fit in the needle. Hey, it actually went in. Gross. Okay, now, build syringe into... Nope. I shouldn't inject... I should inject the liquid through the cork, right, Brady? It's like I'm a doctor. Uh, Nico, you're so adorable. I really don't want you to get hurt. I really hope I didn't screw up and mess up the directions. Hey, hey we're back here. Which means you can go to sleep. If you need it, that is. I'm not sleepy anymore. Okay. But I am afraid to just turn off the game, so... Oh, let's travel to... Lookout Point. Well... Sped up pretty quickly. And out of nowhere, too. Let's see. Now I go back up. It's a 
gas vent. I can't reach the top, Brady. Oh. Um. What to do? What to do? Okay, well, at least there was progress this time. Maybe I can talk to the big robot again. By the way, some robots may start following you around the settlement as well. Do not be alarmed. It is their job to keep people safe. Oops. I just knocked over all my water. They put the phosphor shrimp next to the power cells so that they get power. I never thought about that. I didn't put two and two together, and now I feel really dumb. Aha! Uh -huh. Hello! Hi! What are you doing up there? I am stationed here. By yourself? Yes. I'm sorry to hear it. Can I come up? Hello! Hi! Okay, it's the same thing. this way picture of a robot you know I've never been around so many robots before Brady or any robots at all I mean I see them in cartoons and stuff but I've never seen one in person they're pretty neat don't you think yeah hey Nico do a robot voice yeah hey re Nico do a robot voice what try talking like a robot um Ahem. Beep boop. I'm a robot and I eat batteries instead of normal people food. <laughs> that is not correct. <laughs> oh, he was adorable though. Robots, <laughs> robots do not consume batteries in the same way people consume food. In fact, robots do not possess digestive systems. Some robots do not even have mouths. Like myself, it is sad. Brady, you made me look silly. Oh, but that's adorable, and you're adorable, and why, why it's, uh, don't, don't make me feel bad about making you seem cute. Nico, you be you. Same goes to all my pan fans, you know? You, you be you. If I say something and it's something that you don't like, hey, you be you. Let me know. Let me know why it is that you like it the other way. And you may be able to uh, persuade me to see things your way. You never know. I mean, I went off to the side, but... Oh wait, yes I did. It leads back to the, uh, that one place. The entrance. Where I started. This pond tree looks different. Water looks like jelly. It forms some kind of bubble. Oh, hi there. The sky is dark. That it is. Do you know when the sun will be back up? We're working on it. Oh, it's adorable. I'm going to die of cuteness before I finish this game. I wonder if uh, just giving him the pond water will do it. Aha! I am functional. Was it you who fixed the generator? Well, Brady helped me, but yeah. Hello, nice to meet you. I am robot number 310. Would you like me to take you somewhere? Are you, are you okay? I cannot move. Well, you're still really rusty. That is true. Hold on, Brady and I will find a way to help you. Pond water. Hang in there. Or not. Uh, 
sleepy still. And I'll stop. Old factory? Oh, wrong one. Outpost. It won't turn on. Dang it. Profit bot. Hello again. Are there any more questions you wish to ask? Yes. Mm-hmm. Go on then. Okay. Never mind it. Oh, she's not okay. She's not the profit bot. Okay, so we didn't speak with the profit bot. Unless red hair is the profit bot. Ooh, actually. Let's go talk to him, her, it, the robot. And give you this. Excuse me, miss. I found this book. Do you know anything about it? Let me see. What language is this? I'm sorry, I don't even recognize this writing system. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Although this insignia. Hold on to the journal for now. It will be important. Okay. What's that, guys? I'm going to... Okay, I'm keeping that to the side. It's just a black screen with a white clover, but... 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 You never know if somebody might change it, though. Okay, I think I know why I gotta do it now. Okay, let's take the sponge. Get it wet? Nope. Okay. Um. Okay, maybe now I have to try and. Old factory. Big metal box with complicated machinery inside. Okay. Um, I'm get, I'm assuming that outside is the acidic gas. Said in a well ventilated room. To add the blue phosphor, which is what the pond lake water has is. Can't reach the top. Okay, well, oh, we'll we'll figure this out eventually. But uh, like and favorite if you enjoyed. Subscribe, become part of the Panda Party, because there ain't no party like a Panda Party, because Panda Party don't stop. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.